What's up guys, it's uh, me Sean, and uh, I'm bringing you a second video on this uh, setting up MSI Afterburner type video. And I'm making another video on this because I deleted about, I think, 60 videos that were content ID'd just because I didn't want them staying on my channel. And this happened to be one of them, and I was still getting questions on how to, or what, what program I used to like monitor the usage and stuff. So I just decided to make another video on it because I suppose it's really useful. So anyway, uh, let's get on with it. Okay, so to start off with, you're obviously going to need the uh, MSI Afterburner setup file. And also, this is the font I use for the actual monitoring program. And I, I'll have a link to both of these in the description. So what you're going to want to do is run the setup file. Uh, it's select your language, obviously. And just go through this and just install it. And I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so the install is finally done and you can run it right away if you want. So once it opens, you're going to want to go into settings, and then you want to go into the monitoring tab. And this is where all the stuff that is going to be in your monitoring display will be. This is where you select the stuff, and apparently you remembered everything before I uninstalled. But the process is still the same. You want to go to each one, and then show an on-screen display right here at the bottom. And that'll mean that it's in the display when you go in-game. And you want to go through these, select all of them. For... Um, the CPU temperature and usage, if you want to get that in the same line, you want to change CPU 1 temperature to just CPU instead of CPU 1. It'll look like this when you first do it. It'll be like that. You want to just click this and then change this to just CPU. And then CPU usage and temperature will be in the same line. And after that, you can add a hotkey that you can use to toggle the display on and off, which I use. I just use insert because not a lot of games use that and uh, it's just an easy key to access, I guess. Okay, so once you're done setting up Afterburner, you're gonna see this icon in your taskbar. It's like a little monitor with a 60 in the top left of it. This is where you edit your uh, dis on-screen display, basically. So when you guys first open it, you're gonna probably see something like this. Everything is at default. And uh, this is how I set up mine. So for the font, you wanna click Raster 3D, and then click this little arrow that's right next to it, and select uh, GeForce, which is right here, which is the one I use, and it'll turn into this. I also use uh, the, the shadow so you can see it easier on like really colorful games, and I use the red color, and that's like the simple setup of it. Uh, to get the display in the middle of the screen like I have it in a lot of my benchmarks, you want to change this number to 718, which will be in the middle of the screen at 1080p, and also this slider you want to have it like about here ish so once you got that set up you're going to want to go in game and i have division open right here uh and as you can see there's no display or anything but once i press insert it comes pops right up now if you wanted to actually edit the on the screen display while you're in game you can do that you don't have to close the game or anything you just alt tab and you can edit it straight from here you could just drag it around. It does tank the FPS, but that doesn't really matter since you're not playing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, I just needed to remake it because a lot of people were asking me about it, and I figured a video would be a lot easier to explain this type of thing. I also want to mention that the uh, Witcher 3 visuals comparison is still being made. Uh, I took a, a long break from it, but I do have proof that I am working on it. I'll show you it right here. As you can see, there's all the videos of different settings that I had changed. And uh, I am planning to get it done over the spring break, hopefully. So yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.